AMC got some great news today that really did not get a lot of coverage. So I briefly want to go over it. We're going to keep this video very short so you guys can get on with your day and do what is important to you. But I think you guys do need to know this information. As well as that, I'm sure you guys seen the GameStop report that came out from the SEC that has been long overdue. And I just want to say, even though I don't agree with what they said, I think the main thing out of all of that just highlights how much control the retail investors, how much control the apes have on this situation. We collectively act as the biggest hedge fund of all time. We make the deciding moves of what what is going to happen with AMC and any other stock we choose to be a part of. So out of anything, that's what you guys can take away from that whole report and the whole GameStop situation and really AMC heading into the future. Now, let's get straight into this video, guys. If you are new to the channel, my name is The Creative Investor. We are here to bring you guys all of the best trades, investments, whether they are stock options or crypto. And if you guys want to be notified every trade that I make in real time, time in stock options or crypto day trade swing trades or long-term investments check out the link in the description of this video for the buy and sell alerts and week after week we make enough in profits to cover that cost for years on end so needless to say it is very inexpensive but let's not waste any more time let's get straight into this video now let's basically just sum up what was said in the sec GameStop report about what they seen happen with GameStop, why trading was restricted. Obviously, as we do know, Robinhood, all these other brokerages, they were not prepared for this. So the clearing houses gave them very large margin requirements and they had to disable the buy button to save themselves a lot of money in margin deposits. Now, what the report essentially said is that they did not see a lot of evidence of naked short selling. They did not see evidence that short covering is the reason why the price went up so much and so aggressively. And they did not see substantial evidence of a gamma squeeze. Guys, they said that the retail investors, the enthusiasm and momentum around the stock is the reason why GameStop did what it did. Obviously, we're not the ones that disabled the buy button, so that is on them. But they're essentially saying the retail investors, the apes, we have control of the market. So there's not really anything that we can do. Good luck trying to get something out of the SEC. I want to spread, you know, what I think happened. And ultimately, I think the SEC, they kind of hinted towards Obviously, they said that some naked shorting likely happened, right? But they didn't say anything in what or any one thing, I should say, was a main driver of what happened. They did say that basically off-market exchanges, dark pools, routed most of the order flows, and that was very untransparent. They didn't see a lot of the trades were filled or what prices or how good they were actually being filled. They also said hedge funds didn't lose a sub substantial amount of money so they're, they're basically what it sounds like is they're trying to give little hints of what actually happened without saying it i think they're covering up for a lot of manipulation that was discovered with gamestop because if you think about it the securities and exchange commission they want to you know represent to the world because the world sees america as the best place to invest as the safest place the most non-corrupt place to invest your money so we have a lot of outside investors that invest in our markets they don't want to or at least the last thing they want to do is undermine our markets make it seem like people have control of what actually happens with stocks in our market so i think they wanted to give us a little taste of that by saying hey a little bit happened but it didn't really do anything to the stock or you know the markets or the the process or anything but not undermine the market so that is what i think ultimately the the best thing to take out of that is that we do control the price on amc or any other stock that we want to be a part of so i did just want to you know break that down for you guys what i think of about this obviously i think it's just a bunch of bs <laughs> i think they kind of you know like i said try to give us a taste of what actually happened without telling us what actually happened because they know what happened i'm gonna be watching for you know uh 
uh, Gary Gensler is going on CNBC coming at 9.30 in the morning. So I definitely want to see what is said with that. Maybe we get a little bit more details or clarification on exactly what he says, but apes are in control. Now let's get into this other piece and the good news with AMC stock. And what we are talking about is Halloween Kills smashed box office expectations despite also streaming on Peacock and it shows the strength of the horror genre. Halloween Kills tops the domestic box office over the weekend with 50 million dollars it costs just 20 million dollars to produce horror movies have been resilient during the pandemic from a quiet place part 2 to Candyman. Halloween Kills, the sequel to the 2018 Halloween franchise revival, exceeded expectations at the U.S. box office over the weekend, showing once more that the horror genre is thriving during the pandemic. The movie earned $50 million in its domestic debut while also streaming simultaneously on uh, NBC's Universal Peacock service. It's below the $76 million opening weekend of its predecessor, but an impressive total considering the pandemic. Its availability on streaming and its poor reviews, it has a 39% Rotten Tomatoes critic score, while 2018's Halloween received a more positive 79%. 2018's Halloween Halloween ultimately grossed 159 million at the US and 50 and 255 million world worldwide. That's hard to match, but this is an is an outstanding star anyway. Under any conditions, Hollywood consultant David A. Gross said, "The horror genre is alive and well." So that's really what you guys need to know. 50 million for the box office, you know, weekend opening, not bad whatsoever. And I really like to bring this to people's attentions because. I think a lot of the people, you know, especially down below in the comment sections of these videos or on Reddit or wherever else on social media or in real life where, you know, you're talking about AMC or you'll see those comments that will say essentially the fundamental valuation of AMC does not matter. You don't see those comments as much anymore because the fundamental valuation, a lot of people have realized is very important. I don't think AMC would be in such a strong rally right now if the fundamentals have been decreasing since obviously June or whenever they did raise the last money. I believe that was in June. I don't think AMC would be trading this high still. So that's why this does matter. The fundamentals do matter. These box office numbers are important for the short squeeze because ultimately when you think about it, if you're somebody looking to invest in AMC, whether you're a retail investor, whether you're a hedge fund or whoever you are, you're going to look at this. And I say this all the time. I sound like a, you know, a beaten down horse when I'm saying this at this point, but you're going to look at this. What is the worst case scenario? Your worst case scenario is going to be that fundamental valuation or a little bit less. At this point, you can make an argument that AMC is worth in between, you know, 20 and $30 per share, or at least I could make that argument to you guys. So that'd be your worst case scenario. What's your base case scenario? You trade, you know, pretty much where we are at right now in the mid forties, a little bit higher than that fundamental book value, but not too crazy. Your best case scenario is going to be the MOAS. You're going to get insanely rich thousands of dollars per share. If you look at it in that way, wouldn't you want to be a part of AMC? Wouldn't there be no reason to have a short thesis on AMC if, like I said, the business had been declining since June, since the last time they raised capital, you would see, you know, shorts would, you know, probably be doubling down. You'd see a high short interest, but it probably wouldn't go anywhere. So hopefully that makes some sense. The short thesis does not make a lot of sense right now. Every weekend you get better and better numbers that are coming out or at least consecutive good numbers that are coming out like we've seen with Halloween and all of these other films. It really makes a short the short owners of AMC, the people that have short positions on AMC, question why they have a short position, leading us ultimately closer to the MOAS. So that's what you guys need to know as far as the whole SEC situation. Like I said, I think out of all of that, it doesn't make a lot of sense, honestly, if you've been in AMC or GameStop since the start, to say that essentially we didn't really see a gamma squeeze. You didn't see the price actually go up too much because of shorts covering. They did say that we've seen a lot of the actual trading volume be done in dark pools or off exchanges. So that was good that they highlighted. They said there wasn't a lot of naked shorting evidence that they could find. So all in all, 
the whole thing does not make a lot of sense but what it does highlight is that market participation by retail investors are unstoppable we can do whatever we want as a collective and that is something to be proud of and i hope this movement does not go away the hedge funds institutions they do the same thing at round table dinners with you know ceos from different hedge funds that ultimately have billions of dollars you don't think kenny ken is you know having dinners with all these other big hedge funds right they do and that is exactly what they do to plot and coordinate their next moves on their next trade so that's essentially what we're doing over here on youtube providing the due diligence what you guys need to know if you got any value out of this video hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know down below in the comment section do the fundamentals matter i have not seen a comment about that in a very long time do the fundamental evaluate does the fundament fundamental wow i can't talk fundamental valuation matter with amc i think it's unanimous that it does matter so that's why i like to bring this to your guys attention if you guys do want to support the channel if you're not signed up with public or weeble check that out link down below in the description and like i said in the beginning of this video if you guys want to be notified every time a trade is bought or sold in amc which we have been loading up on looking at a couple options but nothing too crazy at this moment i definitely prefer the shares we made some trades today check that out you guys will see the trades that we made shorting robin hood all of that good stuff very inexpensive to be a part of so that is all. I will see you guys in the next video.